well hi guys um, I would like to show you how to fix the light bulb of a PSO1 uh, scope these scopes are quite rare so uh, and these spare parts are also quite hard to get and if you can find them they are quite expensive so if you have uh, a light bulb that's broken you can actually fix it I've uh, figured out a way how to do so so I'm going to show that to you uh, in this video so the first thing that you have to do is to take out the light bulb from the scope as you can see this is just a simple yeah, uh, glowing bulb uh, nothing special but this one uh, yeah, is broken this is the bottom side of the light bulb uh, as you can see there is a uh, uh, silver part or just, just soldering tin um, yeah so now we are going to take it apart and just look at uh, what's inside I clamped the light bulb inside the vise and I started to remove the tin uh, by first using a knife, hobby knife or something but then I switched to my soldering iron just superheating it uh, there is some glue inside but guys I must warn you these bulbs are quite old and I think there is some lead a uh, mixture of lead and tin and it might be quite toxic so do it in a well ventilated area but once you superheat it, the, the glue just burns away, the, the, the uh, tin uh, will also just burn away and the bulb will just fall apart. The bulb came apart quite nicely. There are three parts, the bulb itself and the two housing parts. I'm actually not sure how it's called. There's a close-up of the bulb. Uh, it's clearly broken and there are two wires. And yeah, they are, they are separately connected to each of the individual housing parts. This is the upper part of the housing. As you can see, there are, uh, there is some glue residue on there, and I would just suggest you to remove it using a hobby knife, maybe some sanding paper. This is the lower part of the housing. There might be some uh, glue residue uh, in there as well. Um, also, just remove this. That's quite important. So I put the LED inside the upper component, um, but as you can see it's not sitting nicely inside of it, so I put the LED in an electric drill and I started to cut away uh, just the, the uh, bottom edge of the LED. The LED now fits nicely inside the uh, upper part. So here you can clearly see the difference between the LEDs uh, on the left. I've just cut away the bottom edge of the LED and on the right side it is just the original LED. You might have noticed that I use uh, orange LEDs. Uh, unfortunately I did not have any re red ones. Um, the early models of the uh, PSO1 actually had yellow bulbs but later models in the 70s 80s uh, had red bulbs but I had to do with the, the materials that I have at the bulb or had at the moment so uh, yeah will just work perfectly since I'm using a light emitting diode the current only flows into one direction since we're using a battery but um, yeah guys it's quite a while ago that I've uh, repaired this bulb so I'm not sure uh, how the current flows um, you can easily check it by just putting a battery inside the scope and then use a multimeter to check this. So once you have checked uh, how the current flows, you can uh, solder one of the poles. I thought in this case I uh, soldered the positive pole inside the uh, upper uh, part of the housing and the uh, uh, negative pole is going to be soldered uh, on the bottom part of the housing. Here I soldered the uh, other leg of the LED on the bottom uh, component uh, of the bulb. It should work now. So as you can see I've also put an o-ring on the bulb. Um, yeah, <laughs> Just to be honest guys it actually just looks like new. Uh, time to test it out. So guys, as you can see the red skull is perfectly lit. Um, I think I've just proven to you that you can fix your broken bulbs uh, by simple cheap LEDs and it does not take a lot of tools and a lot of time. So I hope I've, uh, I've helped you and if you have any questions feel free to, uh, to ask them and I will try to uh, answer them as soon as possible. 
Thank you for watching.